Good morning, world. My camera look mad hazy right now. Let's see if this works. Is that better? I'm still ugly as sin, but my camera look clean. Good morning, everybody. Uh, it's Impulse. We're going to go with the pseudonym today. Uh, I want to start a new series. I don't even know how many of these I really have that are worth telling or that I'm allowed to tell. But uh, I've always, I, I, I've been in the quote unquote scene for a little while now and uh, got to meet a lot of people, had a lot of interesting situations. I swear I'll get into this by the minute mark. But um, I want to go do some hip hop stories. Uh, you know, like I said, I, I've been making a list of what I should and shouldn't say, people I should and shouldn't reference. Some of these situations are ongoing. Um, I doubt that I'll be referencing any beef or, or um, confrontations that I was involved in. Um, as it's just not necessary and I don't really wish to reignite any of these things. Um, if anybody happens to catch feelings during this video, A, it's kind of inconsequential to me if I didn't intend it. And B, that'd be tight, because that means that these people are watching the videos, and, um, you know. So, anyway, I don't know if you guys remember, but, uh, it's a little thing that happened called Hurricane Katrina, um, some time ago. Rest in peace all those that lost their lives, or lives, lost loved ones. So, we decided as a label, Man Bites Dog, and, um, Man Bites Dog was connected to Rum Punch Media at the time. If I remember correctly, so Rum Punch and Man Bites Dog, in conjunction, all owned by Ryan M. Lynch, piece of Ryan M. Lynch, MBD Rex. Uh, we decided to do a little event. Me and Ryan were talking. We wanted to do something positive. I got interviewed by a local paper and everything. I think it's still on the internet. Um, but yeah, so we did the event. We invited a whole lot of artists down. Um, ironically enough, we invited. Uh, PH, who at the time was still Pumpkinhead, rest in power, and he was unable to attend. Um, I got to meet a bunch of good dudes, man. The, the Beat Nuts came down. It was tight. And uh, anyway, but the coolest thing that happened that day is there was a kid there. All right, well, I, I was kind of working the, con the concessions. I performed, and I was kind of running around doing things there. And I was going in and out the car, whatever, get my mind right, and just enjoying myself, you know, enjoying the fruits of putting the show on, and because uh, I was working and performing. And uh, there was a kid there. This is a, it used to be called Jack's in Springfield. I think it's Empire now. Um, back when Jay used to run that place. That's a whole nother thing. Anyway, so we, we do the event. But we're doing the event, and everything's going pretty well. A couple artists weren't able to make it, but the ones that did make it, they put on a show. Um, there was a couple artists that ended up things being negative because they wanted to get paid and all that. Um, I want to say Copyright was there. Um, used to be able to, I used to perform a lot with Pete back in the day, uh, especially when he lived in VA down the street from the studio. But um, that's that's a whole other set of stories, man. Uh, shout out to Copyright. Um, definitely good dude. I still remember the couple of times when I was like penniless and he bought me lunch just off the strength. Didn't even ask, didn't even say anything. Um, so yeah, anyway, shouts to Peter Nelson. Uh, so we're doing the event and it's 18 and up. You can come, you know, if you're under 18, you can be there with your parents or, you know, with your parents, like physically being there. No p with parents permission crap. And uh, I noticed there's like this 15, 16 year old kid. That's what I'm assuming his age was. And uh, standing with him is like a 45 year old woman. And they're coming in and I'm thinking, there's nobody on this bill that this lady listens to. And to my knowledge, there's nobody on this bill that this kid should is really hip to, you know? So anyway, uh, Jedi Mind Tricks was performing at this event. Uh, it's the first and only time I got to actually, like, meet Vinny. Um, Stoop was there. And this is definitely the, like, post Just Allah days. Or, like, during that stage where Just Allah... Let me back up just, uh, just a tad. Just Allah was not active. 
And um, anyway, so Vinny actually was really cool, man. I uh, had a couple of drinks with him and Stoop. I can't remember what record they had just put out, but, like, you know, people were talking to him about the record, and he was like, oh, you're performing, you're part of the label. You know, we, we got to chop it up. Vinny was a good dude, or is a good dude, right? And anyway, so I see this kid. I'm waiting for the green light, by the way. So we see this kid with his mom, and then uh, we actually saw him together. Vinny is, or was, I don't know about the status now, um, but I know Vinny is a, is a uh, his mom and him were good friends. Uh, my mom and I are, are tight, so we immediately, I don't even know how, but we linked on like the, uh, the love from our mothers and everything. And so I happened to find the mom from the, the, the kid's mom later. And I was like, hey, where's your son at? You know, this, I remember seeing you with the young man. You know, that, that's really cool because my mom never would have come to an event like this for me. And my mom loves me to death, but she just couldn't have tolerated this. And uh, the mom's like, oh, well, you know, we'll call him little Timmy. Uh, she's like, well, little Timmy didn't want to, you know, be around me. He was a little embarrassed. And, and I was like, you know, no disrespect to you. Um, but your son's a punk. And I was like, and if your husband is okay with and or raised him to be like that to his mom in public, then your husband's a punk. And the lady laughed. And, uh, you know, I felt like I'd overstepped my bounds, but she appreciated what I said. So I found the kid. So I just, something was kind of bothered me about the situation, right? So I found the kid and I went up to him and I was like, Hey man, how old are you? Which I'm sure looked creepy. Cause I was like 25 looks super creepy to ask this kid how old he was and anyway so the kid tells me you know I'm 15 and I was like well that's cool man you're not even allowed to be here how'd you get in here and he's like oh well, my mom came with me I was like well where's she at and he's like oh man I ditched her she I don't know where she's at so of course I read him the third and I gave him the little umph degree about you know ditching his mom I was like you know this is a hip-hop show granted it's a charity event but you don't know what kind of ruffians are here and you just abandon your mom and my mom would have never been this cool. I was like, my mom's a sweetheart. As a matter of fact, my mom is texting me this whole night. So I'm like showing this kid how I'm corresponding with my mom. And I was like, who did you come here to see? And of course, his favorite group was Jedi Mind Tricks, specifically for Vinny Paz's rhymes. He likes Stoop's beats, but he was like, he really, really checked for Vinny's rhymes. So I'm like, well, that's funny because I've been hanging out with Vinny pretty much the whole night. Okay, we're gonna, we can probably do something with this. So I go back out. We're hanging out in the main in the main room near the foyer. There's the big event room, and then there's the little foyer where the bar is. So I go find the mom, and I invite her to hang out with me, Stoop, Vinny. And I want to say another Man Bites Dog artist. And so this kid, of course, is enjoying the show. Jedi Mind Tricks has not yet performed. This kid comes out to try and, you know, kick it, and he sees his mom with his idol. Literally, like, his idol. He told me, Vinny Paz is my idol. So I'm like, that's crazy, because Vinny just bought his mom a drink. Like, we're hanging out. I will just call her Susan. You know, Susan's awesome lady. We're hanging out with her. Vinny's flirting with her, you know, just making her feel comfortable, thanking her for supporting, thanking her for supporting the cause, the movement, hip-hop itself, her son's attachment to the music. And then, so he comes walking over, and at the time, we're like, this little punk. And he, before he goes to sit down, Stoop was like, hey, who's this kid? And I looked at Vinny, and I was like, you know, I'd already told Vinny the story. So I looked at Vinny, and I was just like, I kind of gave him the eyes. And then Vinny looks at Susan, and he was like, hey, Susan, do you know this kid? And she's like, yeah, he's, he's okay, he's with me. And his eyes get real big, like, wow, you know, like, my mom has to give the OG check for me, you know? So I looked at Susan, and I was like, Susan, is this little kid allowed to sit down with us? Like, he wants to hang out with us. Is that okay with you? And she's like, yeah, I guess. And the look on his face, man, he, he didn't even know what to do, and pretty sure Vinny didn't let him sit down until we kind of gave him the, the third degree and Vinny was like I talk to my mom every day you should appreciate your mother you know, you know I used to have to sneak out of the house to do these kind of things like you know blah 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 you know and he's like yeah 
we to let her, you know, let this kid know we've been making music for years before <laughs> our family really supported us, you know. And at the time, you know, Vinny was, is, was, and probably forever will be a much, much, much bigger name than me. So this kid had never heard of me. But, you know, I was hoping he would hear my words. Peep my words. Peep my heavenly words. Rest in peace, Sean P. Um, but yeah, so. Where, where are we at? So, all right. So fast forward. We finished the event. Um, the kid, you know, and his mom. He holds his, he actually like takes his mom's hand and they go back into the venue. When Vi- Jedi hit the stage, I kind of hopped up on stage for a second. I was kind of backstage. Guess who's right up front together enjoying himself? Uh, the son and her mother, Timmy and Susan, will say. And I was like, man, this is awesome. You know, me and Vinny talked about it afterward. Like, we were really happy about that, that we were able to, to do that. And then when they, when we saw them leaving, they were like arm in arm. You know, he's leaning on her shoulder. Uh, She came up, like, tearing up a little bit, thanked us and everything. About two, three weeks later, we do another event, completely separate event. I want to say this one had, like, You God and um, Necro there, which that was a fucking shit show. Um, But anyway, so we got You God and Necro there. I'm pretty sure. Again, another 18 and up show. There was a designated uh, 18 to 21 area there, and then the 21-year-olds were allowed to be wherever. Um, so, uh, anyway, we're about halfway through the show. I'm just hanging out, working the door, milling around. I'm pretty sure I I was performing. I was not performing that night. Um, I think that's the night. If I was performing, that may have been the night that the fight broke out and the bouncer tried to pull the gun on my homies. And then I think I got a razor blade pulled on me. That might have been a separate night. Any event, it was a kind of rowdy night. Sorry, guys. It's probably about 12, 13 minutes now into this video. I hope the payoff is worth it. So it's about 12, 13 minutes into the night. Excuse me. <laughs> 12, 13 minutes into this blog. It's about an hour, hour and a half into the night. It's getting a little rowdy. A person or two has been kicked out. A couple people already been cut off. And then, lo and behold, I look down by the front door. And what do I see? I see a kid who's obviously too young to be at this event. Waiting. He comes inside the front door and then waits. And then, who do I see walk up? I'm like, I recognize this kid, I think. Who do I see walk up? His mom. They come inside. They walk in together. They actually came over to the area where we were at so mom could get a drink and they could sit and wait. Because the artist he wanted to see hadn't come on yet. And mom recognized me and started tearing up again and said that since that moment, that the the previous um, show, he's been they've been attached at the hip. She got her old son back. They had that connection again, like you know. So he's going. There was a pivotal moment in his in his development where he was anti mom. I'm pretty sure dad was a punk, and he wasn't really doing his thing. But he was like anti mom. He didn't appreciate his you know the situation. One night, a couple of minutes and a handful of sentences used utilized the right way, and. Myself and Vinny Paz at Jedi Mind Tricks strengthened the relationship of a mother and son, which I know Vinny felt really good about. I felt really good about because we're both sons who love our mothers. Um, I do my best to teach my children to love and respect their mother. Uh, so, yeah, I just... So that's Hip Hop Story number one. And I don't even know how to title this, but uh, basically, like, Vinny, Vinny Paz saves the day. Uh, very, very. That was a very cool moment, man. Like a lot of that's a, a lot of crazy hip hop stories. A lot of things. Like I said, I can't talk about. That's one I openly talk about. Very proud of. I don't know if I ever did a vlog. If I didn't do that, if I did it before, then it is what it is. Uh, I apologize for having not done it before. If I had not done it before, again, shout out to Vinny Paz. Shout out to every artist that was able to make it to the Katrina benefit. Shout out to Run Punch Media, Man Bites Dog Records. Again, rest in peace to PH. Sorry you couldn't make it that night. Um, I'm pretty sure the beat nuts were there too, uh, if I remember correctly. That's totally side side note. I didn't really kick it with them, but yeah, man. Uh, Benny Paz was definitely, definitely heart was in the right place that night, man. So thank you guys for your time. It's been about 15 minutes. It took me like three minutes to get to the even beginning of the story. I appreciate y'all's time. Y'all have a good one. And uh, it's raining over here, so if it's raining where you at, try and stay dry. Peace.